The Christmas Tree Is it mentioned in the Bible? Is it an act of worship? Why do Christians put them up? Videos are plentiful on YouTube with pastors giving every manner of excuse, justifying Christmas, and ignoring the seemingly pagan practices that go along with it. But who is right? Is Christmas really a Christian observance, void of any pagan influence? Is it possible the pagans borrowed Christmas from the Christians? The sad answer for most to face is no. that Jesus Christ was born on the 25th of December. Rather, this is an agreed upon date and season where we celebrate the birth of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. And this date works perfectly as it leads the holiday countdown to the celebrations of the new year. The Bible tells me that whatever I do, I should do it with all my heart, not unto men, but unto the Lord. So this Kung Fu pastor, he is suggesting that as per Bible, Romans 14.6 or something, they, the Christians are licensed to consider any day as Christmas or any day dedicated specifically to their Khuda, Jesus Christ. So my question is, is it proper for Christians to consider a pagan festival, a pagan season as the birthday or birth period of their only Khuda, Jesus Christ? If they can celebrate Christmas on any day as per their whims and fancy, then how is Christianity a organized religion? Because a few days ago, Professor Ramchandra Guha said that Hinduism is not as organized as Semitic Abrahamic religions like Christianity. Third point that is a Christian allowed to arbitrarily consider any day as the birthday of Jesus Christ. If this is the case, then this means that there is anarchy in uh, Christianity. Maybe that is the reason why Roman Catholics and Protestants celebrate 21st, uh, 25th December as uh, Jesus Christ's birthday, Christmas, while Slavic Orthodox Church, Eastern Orthodox Church, Armenian Orthodox Church, Greek Orthodox Church celebrate it on 1st January and Coptic Christians celebrate Christmas on 7th January. So different churches celebrate different days as Christmas. So where is this consensus or agreed upon date that Kung Fu pastor Dan Isaac is bragging about? There is no unity in Christianity itself over the celebration of Christmas. For example, Jehovah's Witness does not celebrate Christmas at all. So where is the question of unity or consensus in Christianity? Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> During all the days of the Christmas season, celebrating the birth of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago on this earth. Many Christians claim that these traditions honor the Messiah and His birth, which is said to be December 25th. But the book of Luke gives us an important clue. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Luke chapter 2 verse 8. These flocks were never in the fields in winter. The birth of the Messiah could never have been in winter. 
As the Encyclopedia Britannica tells us, December 25th was the birth date of the Iranian mystery god, Mithra. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the Christmas gifts and the decorations of the Christmas tree are all part of the celebration of this joyous season, symbolic of the perfect gift sent by the Father for mankind. Nimrod was so evil, it is said that he married his own mother. Her name was Semiramis. After Nimrod's untimely death, his so-called mother wife, Semiramis, propagated the evil doctrine of the survival of Nimrod as a spirit being. She claimed that a full-grown evergreen tree sprang overnight from a dead tree stump, yeah, yeah. which symbolized the springing forth into new life of the dead Nimrod. Okay. And so on each anniversary of his birth, she claimed Nimrod would visit the evergreen tree yeah. and leave gifts upon it. Yeah. December the 25th was the birthday of Nimrod. And this is the real origin of the Christmas tree, the evergreen tree. Go look in the book of Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, and read it. The heathens are they who are dismayed at the signs of the heaven. But you should not be dismayed, for the heathen go into the forest and they cut the tree down, the work of an axe. And then they nail the tree down and they deck it with silver and gold. Why are the balls on the tree round? They take the shape of the sun because the pagans worship the sun. Why do you put candles in your windows and light up your house? It is because you are sun worshiper. Even though you claim to worship Jesus as the son of God, you are carrying on pagan worship in his holy and righteous name. <laughs> the decorative lights are symbolic of the birth of Jesus because Jesus said, I am the light of the world and he who follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. The Roman world, the Saturnalia, December 17th, was a time of merrymaking and exchanging of gifts. December 25th was also regarded as the birth date of the Iranian mystery god Mithra, the son of righteousness. On the Roman New Year, January 1, houses were decorated with greenery and lights, and gifts were given to children and the poor. To these observances were added the German and Celtic Yule Rites, when the Teutonic tribes penetrated into Gaul, Britain, and Central Europe. Food and good fellowship, the Yule log and Yule cakes, greenery and fir trees, gifts and greetings all commemorated different aspects of this festive season. Fires and lights, symbols of warmth and lasting life, have always been associated with the winter festival, both pagan and Christian. In vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Matthew 15 verse 9. The Christmas tree, an iconic symbol of the holiday season, has a rich history that dates back centuries. The tradition of decorating trees in the winter season can be traced to pagan rituals, which celebrated the winter solstice with evergreens as a symbol of life amidst the cold, barren winter months. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the nativity is not idol worship. Rather, it is a depiction or a visualization of what happened during the birth of Jesus 2,000 years ago. Like a postcard picture or a TV show or a movie about Christmas. If Kung Fu pastor Daniel Solomon Isaac is saying that nativity postcards, nativity statues, nativity idols, nativity photographs, nativity paintings, nativity drawings, nativity dolls are just representation of God, then all these pictures, 
paintings all these idols these are also like the nativity dolls just representation visual representation of hindu devatas so if you are hating hindu devta murtis that is hindu devta idols then you must also hate your own nativity idols and if you are not then you are a bigot hypocrite and even going as per biblical standards nativity dolls are also idolatrous for this you can read exodus 20.4 to 6 thou shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth thou shall not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for i the lord thy god am a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and shewing mercy unto thou thousands of them and that love me and keep my commandments so even as per the standards of bible nativity dolls and nativity pictures are also idolatrous and so mr pastor daniel isaac you should not do public relations for them om hanumate namaha merry christmas everyone merry christmas <laughs> Good old Santa is the official mascot of the Christmas season as he spreads cheer to kids and adults alike reminding them of the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ. So if you paying to expose the truth behind Christmas of uh, folks out here listen think that Christmas is the original holiday at this time of year and we kind of gently I know Frank and I kind of gently nudge our Christian <laughs> friends and say just remember You got all this stuff from us because we started this. <laughs> the tradition of Santa actually comes from the tradition of the Oak King and the Holly King. And Santa is actually the Holly King who dies at this time of year and gives way to the Oak King to bring back the springtime because the Oak King reigns during the spring and summer and the Holly King reigns during the fall and winter. And so Santa's ride is kind of his passing the hat off to the the Oak King for the spring and summer. This is a very pagan holiday because it is the particular pastor or shall i call him kung fu pastor he said that santa claus was the mascot of christianity and christmas does this person even know what is the meaning of a brand personality brand ambassador brand influencer brand logo or brand mascot i will tell you one see this is an ad by smiley smiley gel and the brand mascot is used during the christmas period as santa claus usually companies corporates both private public multinational transnational national and joint sector they usually and even ministries they usually require such mascots to market or sell their products and services so mr kung fu pastor daniel dan solomon isaac are you wanting to say that christianity is a dhanda christianity is a business it's a corporate organization which requires a mascot a brand ambassador a brand logo a brand identity a brand personality a brand influencer to push its corporate marketing or proselytization agenda if you are saying that santa claus is the brand mascot of christianity it means per se that christianity is a marketing organization which is wanting to advertise promote and sell itself to the classes and masses it is not a spiritual organization it's not a spiritual religion absolutely it's just a dhanda a gorak dhanda om hanumate namaha 
Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm.